We are Chris and Jen, and we are on a journey. We are full-time RVers from Pennsylvania, learning how to live on the road while exploring the outdoors and the history of America. Join in at To Wander Freely. So here we are, we're on the side of the highway just outside of El Paso, and we had a complete blowout of our passenger side rear trailer tire. And the moldings all bent out of heck. We've already taken some of the trim off. There's a couple of these little steel fins that were at one point welded to the side of the trailer frame. I'm not sure what in the world we hit. I mean, there was nothing obvious that we ran over, not at all, but two of these guys completely sheared off. One got into the back wheel and just it exploded. So yes. we were fortunate that we weren't on a highway. We were going about 60 when it happened, but able to get over to the side of the road quickly. So we got a lot of stuff that's been up and I don't know how we're gonna fix it all, but we're, we called roadside assistance. The tire guy's on the way. We thankfully broke down next to one of the nicest guys in the world who's been helping us out pretty much since it happened. So we're, it's a work in progress and we'll, we'll check back. We'll keep you posted. Here's a shot of Aunt Glady where we broke down in the desert, about nine miles east of El Paso, Texas. Hey guys, so we're back. And um, just to kind of follow up on what happened after we last left off. So before the roadside assistance guy got there, um, we were able to get the, the brackets out of the way. We were able to kind of pin this molding back in place a little bit, just enough so that it was safe while we traveled. And um, we had a ton of help from uh, the gentleman who was uh, happened to be working in the building right where we broke down. Edward is his first name, and he, he was just fantastic. What a wonderful guy. Um, really, from the time we broke down and wandered into his shop, he was nothing but helpful. Um, he lent us tools. He actually helped me get some of the bigger pieces out of the way. Um, brought cardboard out for us to lay on the ground, because, of course, we broke down in, like, briar patches. And he was just wonderful. Great guy. You know, he gave us water. Unbelievable. So, thank you, Edward. Um, but we were able to get things in decent shape. The roadside assistance guy showed up pretty much right on time. Um, and he, he came prepared, as you might imagine. I mean, he had the heavy-duty jack that we needed, had the thing up. He had a air compressor on his truck. So, I mean, he, he was rifling the lug nuts off of there, pulled one off, new one, new tire on. I'd say he was done in about 10 minutes. So the spare tire was on and we were pretty much able to hit the road from that. We had about an hour left to go and we made it to uh, Las Cruces and that's where we are now. So I made it to um, Home Depot uh, earlier today because um, a couple things that we have to do to really shore things up a little bit more and get the rest of the trim molding back on. This piece here, you can see it's pretty, it's pretty well bent up from what happened and we really need to be able to hold this back in place, but there's nothing behind here to actually screw into. So I picked up um, a small steel bracket, which I will show you. We're gonna mount this guy. There, there is some blocking about at this level that I can mount this thing too and then actually give me something to screw that fast to and really I think one screw is going to hold that in place it'll be pretty rigid um, once we kind of get that back in place then the there's a piece of molding that goes over um, both tires that I can screw through get that back on one of the things that happened too um, we did a, a quick fix on the road to get some of the plumbing lines up and out of the way and they were a little bit tighter when we left, but of course then we were driving around, so they've sagged a little bit. The brackets that we put in are over there. I picked up a couple more, just small brackets, so we can get those up and in there. You can see too that some of the fabric that they have underneath, really the entire camper, of course that ripped off. At some point, uh, it'd be good to get insulation stuffed back in here and cover that up. I'm not going to worry about that right now. We're not too dependent on insulation in this area of the country in this time of the year. Um, so we'll get going on that and I'll check back in and let you know how it's going. All right, guys, so things went really well. Let me just show you what we got going on here. Um, got the, this is that trim piece that 
I was talking about that that's really been off since we started doing the videos. So the idea was to get this straightened back out and then get this thing back on. So when the accident, ha when everything happened, this thing actually ripped out and some of these holes were kind of uh, torn uh, around the, uh, the heads of the screws. So picked up some washers to try and uh, deal with that and that worked well. The only one that I couldn't get back in was over here. So that's all right, we've got about a dozen screws holding this thing in, so I'm not too worried about that. There is one underneath here that'll hold that tight. I was able to get that steel angle in behind here and screw that fast. So although there's a little bit of a wave to it, heck, that might have been there from the beginning and I just never noticed it, but we got that back and it's secure, it's not going anywhere. So. Also, um, you won't be able to see it, but up underneath here, got the two um, clamps in that are holding those uh, water lines secure up to the, the underside of the floor sheathing. So, all in all, got everything back together. This is our, our spare. Hopefully that'll hold up. It's in decent shape. Uh, it's a little little weathered, but I'm going to go with it and uh, see, see how long that lasts. It should be okay, and we should be good to hit the road tomorrow and on to the next destination. And it was nothing but smooth sailing from there. Not really. As it turns out, the very next day we were traveling to Albuquerque and we blew out another trailer tire. It wasn't the spare tire, it was the one right next to it. Thankfully, Albuquerque has a courtesy patrol that found us within 10 minutes of us breaking down. And 10 minutes later, they had us on our way again. It was wonderful. We knew now it was time to get all new tires for Aunt Gladdy. Thankfully, there was a Camping World right next door to the RV park that we were staying at. So we brought her in for some new tires and to get the bearings repacked. Now hopefully we're ready to move on to the next destination. That's all part of life on the road.